Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. We continue this series on DFM for Web Handling to talk about a most serious design challenge, running ever thinner webs. We will spend more time than is typical on these clips because the challenge of thin is more common, more complicated, and more serious than most of our other web properties. By now, we are all familiar with the web design process that begins with something the customer might want. We look at what chemistries and materials might build that web. Hopefully, your machine can make that web. However, no less important is to ask if your machine can make it reliably. The reason being is that going thinner will increase the level of certain troubles, if not creating some new ones along the way. In this clip, we will outline areas of web handling concern, including the effects of caliper profile variations that will almost certainly get worse. We will also consider air entrainment, tension control, and roller design and maintenance. What we mean by profile is the variation of some important property across the width. Here we are concerned with thickness. We know that the web, and especially the winder, may complain on thickness profile variations in the range of 1 to 10 percent. At 1 percent, problems may be unnoticeably small. At 10 percent, the product may be unmarketable. Consider the tendency that most web makers have to a relatively constant absolute variation. Then, when we reduce average thickness, the relative or percent variation increases, and relative variation is what the web and the winder care about and will complain about. The troubles that are profile related are many. Some, such as certain wrinkle types, are found in the web. Others are wound roll defects. In any case, the list is long and serious. These were covered in our Web 101 class and elsewhere and will not be repeated here. The amount of air and train between a web and a roller or web and wound roll increases when the web thickness and also tension is reduced. This was covered in our Web 101 class and elsewhere in great detail and will not be repeated here. In summary, we know how much air is getting in and how to treat it, such as grooving of rollers or nips on winding rolls, and even quantitatively how much the treatment is worth in some cases as detailed in my roller book and made easy on an Abbott app. Depending on the application, increasing air entrainment on lighter webs can exacerbate a number of problems on rollers and on the wound roll. These were covered in great detail in our Web 101 class and elsewhere and will not be repeated here. As we mentioned, lighter and thinner webs may want to be run at lower tensions. However, this can challenge machine design and maintenance. This includes mechanicals such as rollers. This includes every single aspect of a tension control system. Yet again, these were covered in great detail in our Web 101 class and elsewhere and will not be repeated here. We often don't think about roller bearings until a roller stops turning and scratches the web or causes some other problem. Thinner webs are a bigger challenge here, especially if you have more than a few rollers. Grease may not be good enough anymore. When, but only when, your machine changes speeds, 
roller inertia might be a noticeable source of tension upsets, especially with lightweight webs. Perhaps your rollers are oversized for lightweight webs. When the web gets thinner, roller cylindricity and alignment precisions may need to be improved to keep wrinkling and other troubles at tolerable levels. Perhaps now you might need to regrind nip rollers more frequently. Perhaps now you might need to do a precision optical alignment when in the past a pie tape and level might have been best practice in your plant. The things you should consider when reducing web thickness is a very long list. Some of these may already be familiar, only now you have to do a better job. Some of these items you may not have had to consider before. Any of these items may keep your old machine from making your new product reliably. Come to my Web 101 class to find out what you need to know to think thin. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical video series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will talk about certain web geometries and how they can strongly affect waste, delay, and customer complaint. Stay tuned.